Hi, everybody. Welcome to our July 2022 video newsletter. Hey, Rob, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Hello from sunny and very cool Maine. <laughs> it is the summer. It is great that we're um, able to, you know, be in different places, take time off. But it's been an interesting market. Um, we have been really on a roller coaster, it seems like, in the last month. Um, and, you know, it's definitely impacting New York City real estate. Yeah, it's it's there without a doubt. Uh, the, the rise in interest rates, uh, the fluctuations in the stock market, uh, just the overall negative news cycle, um, I would say, has has impacted real estate in New York. And we haven't necessarily really seen prices come down, um, but we have seen the overall pace of the market slow dramatically. Yeah, um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I feel like it's it, and it's and it's hard to pinpoint a certain segment of the market and say this is where it's impacted most. I mean, we're seeing it on the very high end. There yeah. were only 12 contracts signed last week over $4 million, which is a massive change yeah. um, for the high end of, of, of the market, which has been seeing 25, 30, 40 contracts signed a week, um, now down to 12. That's a pretty dramatic sign of, of, of that market slowing down. And then even on the low end, I mean, I think we're experiencing this in the sub $500,000 market where people are scared about what's happening in the economy, really the stock market, and are deciding not to move forward. Um, I mean, just this week, I think we're experiencing a handful of deals that might be in jeopardy yeah. given what's going on in the economy. Yes. And it's amazing how quickly the market shifts and moves yep. in New York City. Um, you know, and it's, it's, not to sound too self-centered, but, you know, New York is usually uh, responds very quickly and then recovers very quickly. Um, you know, on a more positive note, uh, you know, you and I were discussing, there was a great article in Bloomberg on migration trends. And if you look at New York, it's a big U, right? right? From 2019 to where we are now. Yeah. Uh, and yes, it, it's people are hesitant to buy right now. But if we look at what's going on with migration trends and what's going on with the rental market, which is still on fire, um, rents are up over the, the, the average rent is up over a thousand dollars a month from two years ago. Yeah, thousand dollars a month. Just so we're still seeing people come to New York City uh maybe they're hesitant to purchase right now which is understandable uh but they need a place to live um, yeah and i think you know the 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 thing that we're also seeing is well yes high end low end there is some pausing some you know deciding not to move forward there are certain parts of the market that are still really performing and have very low inventory like brooklyn as a whole right um the townhouse market in brooklyn um, the sub two million dollar two to three bed market in Brooklyn, and then places like the Upper West Side, two bedrooms, um, you know, under two million on the Upper West Side, still a very hot market. I mean, frankly, it's it's the product that's surrounding New York City that's also protecting prices in New York City. So as odd as things are right now, we're also seeing inventory constraints. Yeah. Um, people don't have places to go and that's also keeping prices up. Yeah. So I, you know, a lot of the conversations I'm having with people, you know, I think a lot of our buyers are expecting these massive deals and prices to go down because of interest rates and what they're reading about stock market fluctuations and not, it's just not going to happen. We're not going off a cliff. Um, I feel comfortable saying that. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. I think, yes, things are, are more stable right now. Uh, and I have, they might stay like that for a while, you know, but I, I'm confident that um, New York will remain stable and then prices will go up. Yep, exactly. And I think we, we, what we're experiencing right now in real time is some uncertainty around what's happening in the economy. But the reality, and we have this conversation with our buyers a lot, is these are short-term moves. 
right. um, and they can't really and they shouldn't really affect your long term plans. Yes. Well, thank you so much for joining us this month. Uh, of course, if you have any questions or would like to talk about any sub markets that you're interested in or where you live right now, uh, you can always call us. You can always email us. Um, you know, it's always we, we generalize everything, but it really is, uh, you know, getting into the details, which is what we love to do um, and helping you. So have a great month. Enjoy. And we'll see you soon. See you soon. Have a great month.